FIFA 19 is finally here, and if you want any cheap MSP or PSN for FIFA points or some cheap game codes, check out G2A.com. I'll leave a link down below in the top line of the description and use code HABER for 3% cash back. We are just potentially hours away from a soft launch of the FIFA 19 web app. Now, officially, it comes out tomorrow, the 19th. However, in previous years, EA have dropped a soft launch of the web app pretty much a day earlier or a few hours earlier and the reason they do that is because they want to make sure that the service can sustain everybody and everybody going on at once on the 19th will overload the service so if they do a soft launch on the 18th and they have like half going on the 18th half on the 19th it sort of stables out the servers, so hopefully we're like a few hours away from the web app being released. I'm super excited. I'm going to be refreshing all day, and I really, really hope that we do in fact have a soft launch of the web app. Now, if you guys are still ready to stock up on FIFA points for FIFA 19, check out G2A.com. I'll leave a link down below, and use code HAYWA for 3% cashback. They are a really good site, and essentially get you guys codes for cheaper, uh, and you know, I've been using this site for pretty much three years now, so it's definitely worth it. And of course, we are like two days away from from the early access so excited i hope they do a soft launch of that tomorrow as well if they do that would be amazing and i'm super excited to finally play fifa 19 this wait has been a long one but it's going to be worth it in my opinion i think it's going to be a very very good game so we've got my starter team now i'll be doing a few squad builders on the web app and on the early access and stuff like that but this is a starter team i want to build and this is a starter team i actually made and i, I created this video live on twitch yesterday morning i was just streaming and i made this video so this is like a viewer on Twitch integrated starter team. Like this is like a my thoughts and viewer thoughts. So I thought I'd just throw that out there when we get into it. And uh, and I'm really excited to get into the squad. Of course, it's a 4 one 2 one 2 brackets, two squad. And I, I want to try, I wanted to try a narrow formation. Most of my uh, squads recently have been wide formation. So I want to try a narrow one. So hopefully it's going to be good. Hopefully the narrow formation will work really nice in FIFA 19. Because I do enjoy a narrow formation myself and I enjoy the passing build up play. So we'll see how it works. In goal, we decided on Gator, Gaita, Gaita. I have no idea how to say this, name, this guy's name properly. However, it's a really solid looking goalie. If I was to give him a price, I'd probably think it'd be about the 1.5 to 2k mark. He has solid 80 plus stats on stats that really mean stuff like he's got 80 plus reflexes, 80 plus diving, 80 plus handling. He's got really nice positioning stats and kicking stats as well, which means a lot for a goalkeeper and it's really nice to have a goalkeeper like this in the Prem. And the good thing about this is it's a decent goalkeeper that's Spanish from the Prem. So it allows for hybrids to be made with Ramos and another Premier League centre-back, uh, which before only was allowed by De Gea. So it saves like 100,000 coins. If people can't afford like 100, 200k De Gea, they can go for this guy and still get the same sort of links. So it's really, really cool to have this guy in the Premier League now and I'm excited to try him out. Uh, and for a starter squad, he just looks perfect. His card looks really well balanced uh, and I don't think it'll be too expensive because we have an abundance of really nice looking goalkeepers this year. I think this guy will get lost in all of that abundance so hopefully he's going to have a really decent price and I'm excited to try him out. The two centre backs now, we have gone with Ake and Cabaseli. Both of them have very solid cards. Both of them look really good for FIFA 19. Uh, I've gone with Ake on the left and Cabaseli on the right. Uh, they're both pretty strong. Now, I think Ake is only 5'10", but Cabaseli is like 6'2", 6 6'3". 6 um, and they both have good physical, they both have good pace, they both have good defending. So I think they work really well as a good partnership and I'm hoping that this kind of partnership will be really well and it'll work really well on FIFA for 19. If I was to give a price prediction for both of them, I think I'd probably put Cabaselli at around the two and a half, three thousand coin mark. Uh, I don't think it'd be too expensive, obviously, with the uh, with the good centre backs we have in the Premier League this year. Um, and I think he'll be another one of those players that's kind of overlooked a lot, but really, really OP at the start of the game. Um, and I think that with Ake, I'd probably go about two to four thousand coins as well. Again, it's going to be one of those cards I think that's overlooked, depending on how he's linked. Maybe he might be a bit more expensive if uh, Van Dyke's really hyped up and he gets a link with Van Dyke, obviously. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, however, this. This is a really good looking partnership in my opinion and i think it'll work really well for overpowered squads in fifa 19 and especially the starter squads you know the low-end budget ones you can't afford to spend like 100 200 300 000 coins in defense you want to spend like 10 15 k on your defense these guys are definitely the way forward left back and right back now on the left back spot we went with the new transfer oh, sorry the new uh what's the word 
promote, newly promoted Fulham uh, left back. It is Brian. Uh, this card looks solid. He's got decent pace, decent defending, decent physical. Uh, and he looks like all around a solid left back for a cheaper team. And I think that he'll get really good links with English and Premier League players. He'll get really good links, obviously, uh, with people like Ake. Uh, and I think that he's going to be a really good go-to cheap left back from the Prem. And I'm super excited to try him out. And on the right, we went with Trent Alexander-Arnold. Again, really decent stats for a Premier League right back. He's one of the only lower end rated Premier League right backs with over 80 pace. Uh, it was either him or Yedlin. And the reason I went with him is because I think Yedlin will be quite expensive. Being like 93 pace, one of the fastest players, not only in the Prem this year, but in all of FIFA. I, I felt like this guy would probably be the way to go instead. Uh, because I think that this guy would probably be about two to 3,000 coins. Uh, and in, instead of like the, the 10k plus that you can probably predict for Yedlin. So uh, I think I'd go with him as well. Plus his passing stat is pretty decent. And then with Brian, uh, I think price prediction wise, two and a half to 4k is probably fair. Um, now most years, these guys are highly sought after because left backs and right backs are, uh, are quite a, a, a difficult position to get good plays with so if i were you i'd buy them quite early and then you might get you know a bit of profit if you go to sell this team in about a week or two's time um so yeah i'm super excited to uh to try this out and i'm super excited for these guys as well in fifa next up now we've got the full midfield i just went yolo and put the entire midfield in there at cdm we have got lamina from uh gabon and southampton i talked about this guy in my cheap place to buy video the other day and he's just a beast really good looking card he's tall Really good pace. I think he's got four-star skill moves as well. Um, he's got good defending, good physical, good passing, and good dribbling. He's all around a really well-rounded uh, defender. Uh, sorry, a CDM even. And I think that would be someone that's definitely going to be usable and definitely going to be used a lot as a CDM in most Premier League teams. I think he's going to be my go-to CDM uh, in a starter squad, and I really like the look of him. Uh, if I was to give a price prediction, I think it'd be one and a half to two and a half thousand coins. Can't see him being that expensive. Um, and I think that would definitely be a really usable card. On the right, we've got Torreira, another guy with four star skills. Again, another guy from my cheap Premier League players to buy. Uh, this guy is a solid looking card. As a right sentiment, as opposed to a camera CDM, this guy is definitely go to. He's got great passing and dribbling. He's got decent pace. He's got decent, uh, you know, he's got half decent shooting. He's okay at defending as well. You know, he's not got amazing defending, but not horrible defending. I think that he's got a pretty well-rounded card and I think that as a right center mid you don't expect him to drop back too much as a CDM kind of thing but you don't expect him to be like taking all long shots and stuff like that uh, I think that he works pretty perfectly as a center mid in this kind of formation and I'm really excited to try him out and then on, on the left we have got the beast from like every FIFA ever, it is Sissoko. This guy has always been incredible and he's a centre mid again now. He went as a few years as a right mid. Uh, so, you know, now he's a centre mid again. I can't remember. I think he was a centre mid last year as well, but I can't remember. So don't hold that to me. Uh, but this guy has got a really well-rounded uh, card. All stats pretty much over 70. Really good uh, physical and he's really strong. He, you know, he's got he's quite tall as well um, and usually has a pretty good long shot in FIFA as well. So I think that this guy would be a great powerhouse as a centre mid. And then at Cal, we've gone with Lanzini. There's actually not a whole lot of good cams in the Premier League this year that aren't pretty good players. Uh, you know, we've got the likes of Jesse Lingard. We've got the likes of Mkhitaryan. But I think that Lingard would be like 10, 15K. I think that Mkhitaryan would probably be like 20, 30K. Um, whereas I think Lanzini would probably be about two to 4,000 coins. He's got really good stats. Over 80 pace, over 80 dribbling, uh, almost 80 shooting as well. Over 80 passing, uh, four-star, four-star as well. So he works really, really well. Uh, oh, by the way, for a price prediction of Sissoko, I'm predicting about four to 6,000 coins. Um, and I think that's pretty cheap for a, a card of that stature. And with Lanzini, I'd probably say about the same, maybe a little bit less, possibly maybe two to 4,000 coins. Um, but all in all, this midfield, in my opinion, looks really, really good. And I think it'd definitely be a midfield I would want to try. Um, you know, I've tried to balance it well, go with a couple of powerhouses like Lamina and Sissoko, and then go with a few uh, shorter but better dribblers and passes of the ball like Lanzini and Torreira. I think it works pretty well and it's pretty well balanced. So let's get into the attacking. The attackers now, we have got on the left, we have got Raul Jimenez. Now, I just want to quickly point this out there. I know that he plays for Wolves and not Watford. Uh, but I put that badge on there as a joke with my Twitch chat yesterday. It was like an inside joke, um, but I thought I'd explain this now. And one thing I do want to say is look around in the comments. A lot of people like to skip through these videos and just look for the end squad as opposed to listen to me talking about it and get a good idea of it. So look in the comments for the people that skip to the end. For the people that say that Raul Jimenez plays for Wolves and not Watford, I just laugh. Just have a laugh with me. It's quite funny when people comment down there saying that he plays for, you know, because I do this quite a lot. I like to deliberately mistake things or like make mistakes in my videos for the people that just skip through them to get, you know, they'll start commenting it. It's just like quite a funny inside joke. So, you know, 
I got you, boys. And then on the right, we have got Joshua King. Now, Jimenez is not the fastest, but he's got better heading and shooting than Joshua King. And Joshua King's got better pace and dribbling. And he's also got a four-star, four-star. And I think Jimenez has got a three-star, four-star. I went with this kind of partnership because I think Joshua King will be doing all the running and all the uh, all the dribbling work, whereas Jimenez will be doing a lot of tap-ins, a lot of headers, a lot of decent finishes. I think that as a partnership up front, you want that. You want someone that's faster and someone that's maybe slower, but better at dribbling, uh, better at shooting, even better at finishing, better at physical. So I went with those two guys. Now, Joshua King, I think it's going to be about three to 8,000 coins, somewhere in that price range. He's a little bit more expensive, but it's going to be someone that you want as a higher end spectrum player. And Jimenez, about 800 coins to 1.5K. Uh, and that is the full team. If you guys do want to buy a full team like this, let me know. And I'll probably try this out on the early access. Let me know what kind of teams you want me to build on the early access and what kind of squad builds you want to see from me. Of course, the ones on the early access will have game players. These don't. I do apologize for that. But let me know down below, you know, what kind of teams you want me to do, what kind of uh, what kind of plays you want me to try out, you know, if you want to see packs, if you want to see SBCs, etc. I'd love to hear that all down below. And of course, subscribe to my second channel. If you guys don't know, myself, Nepenthes, and Nix18 are all doing pack only Road of Glories this year. Um, you know, I just thought I'd say this now that, uh, that, that it's kind of like a discussed thing. We're all doing it. Um, and I'm super excited to try it out. I'm really excited to, uh, to, to, uh, give it a go and potentially like go up against those guys. Those guys are like the goats of, of Rota Glories every year. They're, they're just incredible at what they do with the Rota Glory. So I really want to try and and compete in a sense that I have like a similar coin balance, you know, better, maybe similar players. So I think that it'll be quite fun this year to track my Rota Glory against those maybe. So I'm really excited. And of course, it's not like a competition, but it, you know, it'd be quite fun to, to, to match up, I guess. So anyway, that is, uh, that is it for the video. Make sure you do subscribe to my second channel down below. I think you guys are really enjoying the Pack Only Rotor Glory series anyway. I'm going to put a lot of time and effort into it, and I hope you guys do enjoy that. And of course, we'll be having the main channel videos probably daily, maybe two a day, depends, you know, how much time I've got and, and how much effort we're putting into the content, stuff like that. So, thank you for watching, boys, and I'll see you later.